Hey everyone, it's Elaine, and I want to show you something that, yep, I've done before, but I thought with Christmas coming, it might be something too that you could do. Now, these are samples of granite that I get at work, but look at this. This one, oh, that's my hand, is a pretty good size. So, what I do is I just go and pick up some, um, I guess these are like a steak knife because they're a serrated edge. You could probably just get a regular butter knife. And I believe I even got these at Walmart. Now the little cleavers I did order, I believe it was on Amazon. But I just take a simple knife and you could do this with, like if you saw a, uh, a cute or fancy little cutting board somewhere, you could do a fancy knife to go with it. And, you know, I've done them, but I'm going to tell you how I did them. It's really quite simple. I've got a loose piece of wire here, and, and I'll just give you a quick demo. The one thing about it is, is that the, um, the beads that you use, I suggest you use flat ones. Now, I have seen, you know, big old round beads used on, on these, but they feel so much better in your hand um, if the beads are flat, I think. Um, I do tell everyone not to put them in the dishwasher, hand wash them. Sometimes the beads are glass, sometimes they are fancy plastic, um, but... I, you just really need to hand wash them. You don't need to take the chance. The wire that I've used on these is an aluminum wire. Um, so hopefully it will, you know, not rust and, and everything. Also, um, it feels like it's like a plastic coating. Um, and it's, you know, used for jewelry and stuff. So anyhow, what I do is I simply take the knife at first and I put a, a long piece down the front of it. And then I come from the other end, of course, and I add my bead. So now my bead is sitting about right here. And then I wrap one, two under the bead, two full times under the bead. So then I add another bead, come down, wrap two full times. And that's it. Two full times, though, underneath. Let me see if I can get this up here where you can see. Yep, two full times under there. And then the third time goes into the bead. And then when you get to the bottom, you just simply take it and it goes up through a little bit. Sometimes you have to play with that a little and kind of loosen the one above. Um, but that's it. It's, it's really simple. I always like an odd number of beads. Um, there's something to do with decor and odd numbers or whatever. Um, so odd numbers always seem to look the best to me. And that's really it. So think about that as something, like I said, for a Christmas gift or a birthday gift. You know, it's a nice cutting board and then make a little fancy knife. And then I always, you know, tie it with some um, hemp, some kind of cording, and put it in a little package, put it in a little box. And that's it. So I appreciate it. And remember, I put a video out every Tuesday, um, usually at 6 p.m., and also I have um, an Etsy shop. This is too heavy to put in my Etsy shop. I don't want to do the shipping on it. Um, so I will try to sell these locally. But I also have an Instagram. I have a Facebook page where I will show these in my Facebook page because, excuse me, Facebook page and group. Because what I like to do is I like to do things there that are upcycled. So if you've upcycled anything, come and join my group. And I'm also on Twitter and, of course, here on YouTube. So I appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And give me that thumbs up and talk to me. I would like hearing what people have to say. And I've done a pretty good job at answering you back. So I appreciate you very much. And come on back and see me. And please behave and stay safe. Catch you in the next video. Bye.